VB script or Visual Basic script is a scripting language used for developing and design of automation and scripting tasks. VB script is commonly used for scripting within HMI environments to automate repetitive tasks, such as tag values, visualization task, alarm handling, network error handling, administrative tasks, etc. Open or create your project in WinCC Flexible or WinCC TIA portal. Select HMI and add component to your HMI in this video a button and two input output field, and a text field is inserted. WinCC HMI also support VB script. This video only for WinCC HMI scripting. You can use this script language in WinCC software or WinCC TIA portal. After inserting these component add input 1, input 2 tag in HMI tag table select integer data type for these tag. Assign these input tag to input output fields. Open screen and select first input output field property in tag property select input 1 and for input output field select input 2 in tag property. After tag declaration insert VB script for HMI. To add VB script in WinCC, go to project tree open script and then click to add new VB script now next step is write a script for HMI. In WinCC you have two type of script function you can add. A subroutine function or function. Sub is a subroutine function in VB script. Dim keyword is used to declares variables to store data. Value 1, value 2 and result are variables. Press Ctrl plus J button to open tag table in script editor and select tag for value 1. Select input 1 for value 1 and input 2 for value 2. Smart tag keyword reads the value of the tag input 1 and tag input 2. Set keyword used to assign an object reference to a variable. HMI runtime dot screens is accesses the screen underscore one of the HMI. To enter screen name, go to property of screen and copy screen name. Screen items refers to a specific object, a text field on the Screen underscore one. Text field underscore one is the name of the screen item that will display the result. On screen copy name of text field and paste on screen items and close with. Result dot text store the addition of value one and value two. After creating script click to check script error. If any error occurred during error checking remove the error for next step. After creating no error script select button and open button property and select event in event select button press event and select script. In a drop down select VB script and then select your script subroutine function. Subroutine function is used for executing a block of code that does not return a value. It performs a series of statements or actions. In simulation you can check how your actual work in HMI. After assigning script and button event simulate program to test. When WinCC simulation start and value of input output file is changed. Supposed in input field value 124 and input file value is 124 and then add button is pressed result of these input output files shown in text field. Now we see a subroutine function VB script. Next example is a function in VB script. A function is used for executing a block of code that returns a value. It's typically used when you need to perform some computation or operation and get a result back. In this simple VB script value of increment, when increment button is pressed, each click of increment button increase value by one. So first add button and rename button to increment and a numerical input output field where we show incremental value when button is pressed. Add a script and then add script in script editor.
For creating function in VBScript, select function in type. This VBScript code defines a function named VBFunction underscore 2 that increments the value of a smart tag named tag1 by 1 and then returns the updated value. This line increments the value stored in the smart tag with a value of tag1 by 1. This line assigns the updated value of smart tags tag1 to the function's name VB function underscore 4. In VB script, this is how you specify the return value for a function. Now check error of VB script, and then after no error assign this script to button event otherwise remove error, and then assign script in button events property dot open screen, and then select button event property select VB script. It is an example of function without parameter, so no need to declare parameter in return. Now you see when button is pressed value of input output field is increment by 1. Each time. We make two different VB script fist is a subroutine function, and second is function. Function return value, but subroutine function only executes statement. 